Since 2006, Mattel has released over 1,000 diecasts from the Disney Pixar Cars franchise. And I'm here to take a closer look at certain characters and character variants. Hello everybody and welcome to the Teach Reviews Tie Spotlight Series. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at Buck the Tooth Vendor. Buck the Tooth Vendor appeared in Mater the Greater, fulfilling the same purpose as Brian Park Motors in the first Cars movie, that being to sell merchandise at the Motor Speedway of the South. However, instead of selling Piston Cup merchandise, he was selling Mater merchandise, as this was Mater the Greater, and Mater was telling the story of how he used to be an incredible daredevil. So, let's take a closer look at Buck here. Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of the Spotlight series. Once again, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I know a lot of the cars that I pick for it are, like, really odd and random, but it's called the Spotlight series for a reason, because I like to focus on some lesser-known cars. Buck the Tooth Vendor, as I already said, appeared in Mater the Greater. That was his only appearance. He did have one line where he was, uh, calling out to people, saying... That he was selling two buck teeth for one buck. Obviously, that's a pun. Even his name is a pun. Buck the Tooth Vendor. Buck Teeth. That's what Mater has. The very, uh, like, prominent two teeth in the front. That's what he's selling. He's selling fake buck teeth, among, uh, some other stuff, like the hooks there. And, yeah. His name is a pun. What he said was a pun. Lots of puns here. Um... And we actually do see cars with these uh, souvenirs in the short. A whole lot of cars have fake tow cables attached to them and the fake teeth as well. Most notably, I could think of uh, Mia and Tia. Also, the Mater fans that they released in the diecast line, Bucky, Breakburst, and Big Fan. That's a very, very creative name. Buck has been released a couple times throughout the years. First, in 2010, as both a deluxe, or as we're known at the time, Mega Size, he was also released in a four-pack that year alongside Daredevil McQueen and Lug and Nutty. And most recently, he was released in a three-pack with Lug and Mater. Let's take a closer look at this guy now. As you can see, he's a very nice light blue pickup truck. Sorry for some of the dust on him. We've got the word souvenirs written on his hood. Got a very kind expression there. Very generic uh, smile. We've got all the buck teeth up here that he's selling. Some toe hooks. Some in blue and some in red, which is a very nice touch. Although there should also be some in white. A touch that I really like is the fact that you could see that these are suction cupped on. Of course, uh, in real life, on the actual die cast, they're glued on or they're attached some other way. But I really like the fact that they look like suction cups. You can see they're even hanging off the end here. It's really nice attention to detail. And his license plate reads, let's see. 32392, it seems. Uh, very difficult to tell. Yeah, 32592. There we go. There is the other side. And there is Buck's base. Unfortunately, no official descriptions for this character have ever been released. So there's not much to say about his personality, but, you know, you could tell he's a salesman. So you could basically go off of that to assume what his personality would be like. And that is pretty much it. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Spotlight Series on Buck the Tooth Vendor. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>